as a final question, um, it's kind of a weird one, so I'm just looking for more of a short term, a short answer because, um, yeah. Anyways, I've heard of these type of FHA loans that people they get a house that's a little distressed, and it's a special type of loan mm -hmm. that you can get the house repaired, and then you go to live in it, and then you're paying for some of the repairs within your your first year mortgage. Have, is that something you've ever considered or advised to stay away from? Or? I don't know if you have any thoughts on that. Hmm. I think that you'd have to sit down and work those numbers out. Right? If you're if you are adding value and you can kind of guesstimate how much value you're adding and how much you're spending to add that value, and then what that is going to cost you over the course of that loan, then you might be able to do the numbers to figure out if it's actually worth it or not. Right? Okay. So like if you spend like if you take a loan out for 20 grand. So anytime you take like, you know, for the FHA loan, if they're going to add on extra for repairs, that's just, a, that's just a, a loan, right? It doesn't matter if it's attached to another loan. It's just, you're just taking out debt for a thing, right? So you take out debt for a thing. Let's say you're going to take out $10,000 worth of debt. And then you turn around and you put it in your home and that adds $50,000 worth of value. And the interest you pay on that $10,000 over the course of the next 30 years is 5,000, right? All right. So you spent five thousand dollars plus you know you had to pay back the principal so ten thousand so fifteen thousand dollars and you added thirty thousand dollars worth of value to your property you made fifteen thousand dollars mm -hmm. right and then supposedly that's going to appreciate as well right so like you add in so if it's thirty thousand and then that appreciates along with the rest of the house because it's part of how the house works right um at some point that starts depreciating because you know you hit a point where you have to re you have to redo it because it goes out of style. <laughs> right. But yeah, if you can do the math on that and it works, I would do it. If it doesn't work, then I wouldn't do it. So, you know, most people like just to caveat that a smidgen, most people, if you hire a contractor to come in and renovate your home, the value they add won't be more than um, what you're spending. Mm. Right. That's not universally true, but I would say on average, that's true. Okay, good to know. You gave me a lot of information today. I got some homework to do, but this was like super insightful, and I hope it was helpful for anybody else who's in in my position. This was great. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, man. I super appreciate it. That was fun. I, like a lot of stuff that I don't often think about, like that I know, but I don't often mm. like think about, right? And uh, you're like hitting all the the spots coming from you know perspective on the other side. I think that's real helpful. And I think you gave me a lot of, uh, you know, ideas to make new episodes with. So <laughs> super yeah, appreciate plenty, that. I had plenty of questions. We, we got through yeah. all the questions. So thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah. So if you see some episodes coming out soon that basically just answer your questions. Great. Don't be surprised. It. I appreciate it. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> all right. Cool. Well, thanks, Ryan. I super appreciate it. Thank you. All right. I'll see you next time. Talk soon.